Hello everyone and welcome to Switch Up. We've got another review for you today, this time of The Great Ace Attorney Chronicles. And this one was written for us by Alex over at Switch Corner. Now Switch Corner is a fantastic channel, the second best Switch channel on YouTube. What do you mean who's the first best, you cheeky so-and-sos? In all seriousness though, Alex is a top man and his channel is brilliant. Please do check it out. If you haven't done so already, I'll put a link to it in the top pinned comment. The Great Ace Attorney Chronicles bundles together two titles being Ace Attorney Adventures and Ace Attorney Resolve. Both contain five standalone episodes and are prequels to the main series. They originally released in 2015 and 2017 respectively for the 3DS and never made it outside of Japan. This package finally resolves that issue, but is this perfection or an objection? Thank you to Capcom for the review code and now let's find out. Story-wise, after a tutorial chapter which introduces you to the characters, you are free to play the rest in any order you want, although I would suggest playing them in the correct order so that you understand the overarching story and character development. You are following our lead, Ryonosuke Narahodo, as he finds himself embroiled in an accusation of the murder of an Englishman in Japan, right through to his later adventures in London. The period is perhaps the most unique element of the story here, as we find ourselves in the late 1800s, the Meiji period in Japan and Victorian England. This not only means that we get a new cast of characters entirely, but they have some fun with it too, with humorous pseudonyms like William Hampshire and Herlock Sholmes being used. I want to be sensitive to spoilers here and in-game footage for the most part is the opening of earlier chapters in the game, but the episodes are fun, addressing a number of scenarios and whilst they are all murder cases of some sort, they mix it up with different settings and the incidents themselves, from those that may influence relations between England and Japan to lovers spats to revenge. Sounds serious I know, but as is always the case with an Ace Attorney entry, it navigates that balance between serious and entertaining effortlessly with all the trademark over the top humour we have come to expect. I do want to give a warning, if text and reading aren't your thing, this game won't be for you, as they are by far the most talkative entries I have ever played, to the point where yes the series trademark gameplay is here, and we'll get to that in a moment, but you can literally turn on a story mode that removes the gameplay entirely and just lets you watch events play out in a visual novel type way. So onto the gameplay then, and whilst the game gradually evolves with progression, it can really be summed up as two elements. That's the courtroom part as we address the judge, the accused and the witnesses, and then the investigation moments that see us searching locations. The game's first episodes act as tutorials, albeit fairly long ones, coming in at around three and a half hours, and episode one is entirely courtroom based as you defend yourself accused of murder. Episode 2 then introduces the investigations. Trials though are as they sound, a constant back and forth of dialogue punctuated with moments to select responses, press witnesses and present evidence. Yes it's basically a whole lot of menu management but it's really in understanding the evidence you have and unravelling the dialogue and its twists because rarely does a courtroom case go the way you would expect. Controls for trials are simple enough, you are presented with the dialogue options you have and all of your evidence is assigned to the right trigger. This will slowly expand as each episode progresses, whether that's witnesses bringing new evidence or generally compiling it through the investigation. The only other real interaction in trials is the cross-examinations where you get to call out the witnesses' truths or lies. You can examine new evidence, rotate it and zoom in to uncover areas that may have been missed. Regarding difficulty, it's not challenging if you listen, but it does add some level of tension with a five strike system through each courtroom appearance that you can just reload if things go wrong. Also, honestly, it can be fun sometimes just to experiment and even go wrong intentionally just to see the over the top reactions in this world. Investigation moments then will prelude each court appearance as you progress. It's an opportunity to gather evidence. You'll control the on-screen crosshair that pulsates if an item is of interest and this will often lead to dialogue from the characters around you as you deduce the item's worth to the case. Alongside this you can examine items in more detail and you can move across multiple locations as they become evident to the case and you can talk to those around you whether that's for a potential tip on how to progress or to present something from your court records to get an opinion. This is pretty standard stuff for the series but a new addition comes courtesy of the aforementioned Herlock Sholmes and what's called his dance of deduction. Basically Herlock takes a wild guess and then like a cross examination we hear it back and correct where the mistakes are. Herlock isn't the smartest though, that's for sure, 
and needs a little hand holding. Finally wrapping up gameplay it has a nice set of options including text skipping if needed to speed things up as well as an auto play feature for conversations. Control wise the menu based nature works well and the only real area it was lacking is that I would have liked to have seen true dialogue speed options rather than just skip and it lacks any speed options for the cursor which would have been appreciated but maybe that's just me being picky. For those curious it also has full touchscreen implementation and it's probably my favourite way to play and all functionality is here from the courtroom through to the investigations. Gameplay is extremely enjoyable and it's great to see everything come together as the case progresses and this is helped by the genuinely interesting and humorous stories. Perhaps some of the midsections of each chapter could have been trimmed down a tad but this is a very minor grievance and gameplay including story gets 19 out of 20. Controls also work very well minus a couple of missing quality of life features and they score 18 out of 20. In terms of visual presentation, this is a beautiful looking game. While investigation moments and locations are nothing more than still images, the 3D character models for our cast is incredible, whether that's via dialogue exchanges at location or your appearances in court. The variety in design not only leads to a cast that is absolutely memorable, but each feels unique and I never felt a sense of repetition in their design at all, from the glamorous to the more seedy underbelly of London to those that are only out for themselves, this is certainly a cast to remember. They capture a caricature of the personality they are trying to represent which is great stuff and then you can see them break under pressure or slip up in dialogue and that change in emotion is near immediately recognisable thanks to some simple but effective animation. Everything else looks nice and clean in terms of dialogue boxes and the ability to interact and investigate certain objects and the menus whilst basic certainly do the job. I think the overall highlight for me though is the colour palette that was used. For a game that centres nearly exclusively around murder, it's about as colourful and vivid as they come. The only visual issues I noticed are that there's some rough edges on the models here and there, which I think will be apparent to most people, and some of the items have quite low textures at times too. On to audio then, and whilst mostly positive, it does have a few unusual decisions in its design. First, no English dialogue is present outside of key moments like objection, or hold it as they shout, or a small cutscene here and there. The majority though are just accompanied by that old school typing sound as sentences appear on screen. The occasional sound effect accompanies some suitably over the top reactions like a defeat and our lead crashes against the wall like a ghost of some description has punched him in the gut, but it all plays into that tongue in cheek nature that the game is going for. The music itself wraps up the audio and it's okay, nothing special honestly, it's made up of orchestral themes for the most part and whilst they match the tone of the scene they never made me sit up and take note like I had done with some of the past entries. The only other addition with audio is if you want something a little more authentic you can change the minor moments of English to Japanese alongside English subtitles. Visuals bring the eclectic cast of characters to life wonderfully and score 18 out of 20. Audio does its job but perhaps isn't quite up to the standard reached elsewhere and it scores 14 out of 20. The Great Ace Attorney Chronicles cost £32.99 and regional equivalents are on your screen now. Value is an area where the package truly shines. Two games, 10 cases and that's a minimum of 50 to 60 hours worth of gameplay. Replayability wise I'm not sure you would revisit the main story too soon as nothing really changes but the game does have a few nice additions in what it calls special content. Here you will find achievements known as accolades, a gallery, a music player, a tailor where you can switch outfits and then escapades. These are short bonus episodes to play through and you'll find 8 in total. You just can't go wrong for this amount of content for a price that's under triple A. Unfortunately Capcom continue to be reluctant to release a large number of their games physically in Europe and this is another example but there is a North American physical release and a Japanese release too. Value gets the full 20 out of 20. To conclude, The Great Ace Attorney Chronicles is a fantastic package bringing together two great games with a huge amount of content for a price below the usual AAA threshold. It's great that these games are finally available to play in the West, with the only real blot on the copybook, albeit one that didn't affect the score, is another Capcom physical no-show for Europe. This doesn't detract from the quality of the game though, and this package is most definitely worth investigating. The Great Ace Attorney Chronicles gets a switch-up score of 89%. 
Thank you everybody for watching this review. I hope you enjoyed it. Please do remember to leave a like if you did. Another big thank you to Alex from over at Switch Corner for writing this one for us. As I said, his channel is fantastic, really top quality content. I always check out his reviews if it's a game we've not covered ourselves. There's a link to his channel in the top in comment. Please do go have a look and maybe subscribe to him while you're over there. A quick thank you to our Patreons as always for your continued support and to each and every one of you for watching our videos. Take care, stay safe and until next time, happy gaming.